From the Chum Television Building in downtown Toronto, Bravo presents Live at the Rehearsal Hall, hosted by Lance Chilton. Since the release of her album, Let It Die, her star has been on the rise with two Juno Awards and international critical acclaim. She's been described as one of the warmest, purest voices you'll ever hear. Please welcome Feist. When I was a young girl, I used to see pleasure. Oh, yeah. When I was a young girl, I used to drink it all out of the ill house down in to the jail house my body is out beating hell is my do Hi everybody, I'm Lance Chilton. Welcome to the rehearsal hall. Our guest tonight is Feist. Quick bio. As an indie artist, Feist traveled the country from one side to the other, playing stages big and small with some very, very good bands as well as on her own. And then a couple years ago, packed it up and went to Paris because that's what Canadians do. While in Paris, she did what Canadians do. She found success. She got a record deal, put a hit on the charts, which proves that the best way to find success as a Canadian artist is to go somewhere else. 
And she did. She just won a couple of Junos here. Very well deserved. We're great. We're happy. It's great that she's back home here in Canada tonight performing from her disc, Let It Die, as well as a bunch of other stuff, too. Here's Feist. As we mentioned earlier, she took off to Paris, got a record deal, uh, critical and commercial success, and a great band. Would you like to introduce them? My pleasure. Okay. The fellow on the organ here is Pierre-Luc Jamin. <laughs> this is Julien Chirol. And that there is Vincent Tégère. <laughs> the irony is that they won't be playing on the next song, so... But don't leave. All right, here's Feist. Here you go. Inside out. Give in. Our love has got the power 
Too many heartaches in your lifetime. Who was for me? You treat me like a vision in the night. Someone that will stand behind you and your world is you working right.
Sitting here listening to you play, I, you, you cover the Bee Gees and you do traditional songs and, and you cover Ron Sexsmith with equal aplomb and conviction. And uh, I, I wonder what your, what the thing is that, that you look for in a piece of music that makes you think that you're going to do it outside of the stuff that you write, because there's all this wonderful variety in what you do. Well, um, I guess I had to face facts a few years ago and realize that I, I haven't dived deep into any particular genre I'm not really I was I'm not of a school of any kind of music you know and in my case uh, I just became a kind of a melody that was my genre yeah. I, I just melodies are kind of the core and and uh, in the case of the four track demos I'd made um, I wasn't a really a producer by any stretch of the imagination I'd done it on my four track and cranked the reverb and the compression so it sounds really yeah. the cars driving by and stuff like that and when Gonzalez who I was on tour with in France started lifting those melodies out of that context and playing them on the piano that's when I kind of realized that you know instrumentation can kind of be like clothing around a melody and sure. and you know you're wearing jeans and a t-shirt you function in one way and if you put on the ball gown maybe you can go and do something else and but same person inside same person inside yeah. and yeah. but yeah so um, melodies is kind of the center and maybe that's why I end up playing covers that seem uh, like they wouldn't get along and under any other circumstances so in terms of your next album have you thought about what it's gonna sound like or what the songs are going to be uh, well, yeah, I've been touring for a year now with these songs from this record, and, and it's just like anyone on, on certain nights. I'm, I'm like this with certain songs, and on other nights I don't want to hang out with certain songs. <laughs> and But every night there's a few that I'm happy to see. Like, they walk in the door, hey. And so, so um, and those have been uh, Gatekeeper, I think because it's just melody-centered mm -hmm. and very simple arrangement. And um, when I was a young girl, because I, I love taking um i love playing these traditional songs that that I, i've heard in the context of <clears throat> the american folk anthology the smithsonian folkways put mm -hmm. out and those songs uh, field recordings field recordings yeah. exactly from the early 1900s into the 50s and and the sounds of those you can hear the clothesline squeaking and you can yeah. hear the chairs in the kitchen creaking and it's aud audio audio audible photographs and dusty so, old photos like dusty old photos yeah. And s exactly, so I like creaking open the shoebox from the attic, pulling one out and trying to bring it into this context. And so I, uh, that, and I'm going to play another one of those that I tried to rearrange. We're going to hear that. That's yeah. right. Thanks for coming. It's great to meet Thank you. Thank you so we much. We wish you continued success. Thank and you. And thanks also to you for being here tonight. You've been a wonderful audience. Feist. Thank you. 
so much as the stars. It was hard to tell just how I felt. Do not recognize myself. to fail.